Google Kubernetes engine is a managed production ready environment for deploying containerized applications. GKE makes it easy to deploy, update and manage containerized applications and services. GKE isn't just for stateless applications either. You can attach persistent storage and even run databases in your cluster. Robin Storage is a purpose-built container native storage solution that brings advanced data management capabilities to Kubernetes. It provides automated lifecycle management, point-in-time snapshots, backup and recovery, enterprise-grade data security, snapshots and cloning, QoS guarantee, and multi-cloud migration for stateful applications such as Postgres, MySQL, MongoDB, Elasticstack, Kafka, and MariaDB. In this tutorial, we will create a GKE cluster with persistent disks and install Robin Storage through Google Cloud Marketplace. To create a GKE cluster, log into your Google Cloud account and select an existing project or create a new one. You can see that the project is being created. It takes several minutes for the API and related services to be enabled. Once all the API services are enabled, you can click on the Activate Cloud Shell icon to activate the Cloud Shell. We will now create a GKE cluster that meets the prerequisites for installing Robin Storage. The prerequisites are Ubuntu OS image for the container and a minimum of 4 vCPUs and 4 GB memory per node. In addition to this, the cluster also need access to GCP disks and the storage APIs. The command here creates two node GKE clusters in the US West 1A region. We are using the machine type N1 standard 4 to meet the vCPUs and memory requirements and Ubuntu OS image. Once you run the command, it may take a few minutes for the cluster to be created and ready to use. Once the cluster is ready, you should be able to see it in your Google Cloud console. Now let us install Robin Storage to bring advanced data management capabilities to GKE. On your Google Cloud Console, click on the Marketplace tab on the left-hand side of the menu. Search for Robin Storage in the Marketplace and click on the Robin Storage app in the search results. Once on the Robin Storage page, click on Purchase Plan button to enable Robin Storage on your Google Cloud Platform account. If you already have an active plan, then click on Configure. In the configuration screen, select the recently created cluster and let's set the size equal to 100 for the storage disks field. And type yes in the cluster requirements text box as we know our cluster meets the prerequisites. Now click on deploy to install Robin storage on your GKE cluster. It may take a few minutes to complete the deployment. Once the deployment is complete, you should be taken to application details page where you can see the Robin storage application. Once the installation is complete, you can get details about Robin cluster by running the following kubectl command. The resulting output should have the connect command to connect with Robin. If the connect command field has no value yet, it means Robin is still being installed in the background. Wait for a few minutes and try again. Once you see the connect command, copy the command and run it to connect with Robin. After connecting to Robin container, you can log in as admin user with the default password Robin123 with uppercase R. Once you are connected to the Robin container, you can verify the installation by running the Robin hostless command. The installation is complete once all the nodes become ready and online. At this point, you can start deploying data applications on Robin. Let us set up Helm now using Robin's helper utilities. Before proceeding, let's make sure all the necessary workloads or pods are running properly. Click on the Workloads tab on the left-hand panel and see if all the services are shown as OK with green check next to them. 
Now let us run these Robin helper utilities to set up Helm. With this, we have concluded how to set up GKE cluster and install Robin storage to deploy data applications on GKE.